Alright, what's up everybody? This is Marmavex Forever and welcome to another episode of Let's Make a PID Loop. So in the previous episodes we just covered everything all the way to proportion and finally we set this thing up so that we can actually use it uh, so that you can actually see the effect and maybe hopefully you started to uh, play around with some of the um, um, tuning of the um, constant if you have already set your hand on my little controller so today we are going to dive into integral the proportion integral and derivative control today we are going to dive into the integral part so the integral personally I think it is the most uh, interesting um, and it's also the most mathy and nasty part. So today we are just going. I'm just going to show you how to set it up and hopefully explain it to you how to actually um, how it actually works. And uh, in the later episodes, I'll show you how to control it because integral is something we need to put most control on. Uh, you, you might mess around with proportion. You might mess around with uh, some of the algorithms of uh, derivative to make it more efficient, but. I mean, proportion is proportion and derivative is derivative. And for integral, it's something very dangerous. If you don't control it, it just blows up and the robot just goes crazy everywhere with max power. And that's what you don't want. And you need um, a lot of uh, measures to control it depending on how you use it. So today, let's go set up, um, go ahead and set up integral. So right here, we have our proportion set up nice and easy, just one line. We calculate the error, we scale it up to a proportion. Uh, the, that's your proportion and uh, let's do integral from right here so let's first of all we need to set a few variables and the way I prefer to do this is that I prefer to do a raw value of integral which is just adding up error and I prefer to do another uh, 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 excuse me variable which is the uh, multiplied value and I will explain why I do that so first let's do um, actually let's put proportion integral Let's put those together. All right, integer of mm, integral. Actually, let's do this integral raw value. Let's do integral raw, and then let's do integer integral. This is this is just integral. All right. So we first we have a integral raw value, and finally we have a just just basically an integral value and uh, actually I would like to make this this proportion for a fault value just to make this a little bit more precise and this integral is also a float because we are multiplying that by a constant uh, and the constant is a float so we always want to keep it a little bit more precise and saying that we are going to add the uh, integral constant ki is usually ki with a rather slow loop you want it to be a little bit bigger with a faster loop you want it to be smaller because i is accumulative which means that the faster accumulated uh, i mean the faster the loop runs the faster you accumulate it and uh, the smaller we want the constant to be because we want the value to still be in control so usually i would use uh, e but usually the uh, integral it blows up pretty fast and uh, usually the the ki constants if you are not dealing with quadcopters probably in vex you would want something kind of like 0 0.0 or something so in this case i'm going to put 0 0.05 just some estimation and don't be surprised if this still uh, i mean with this value still blows up because yeah integral is something pretty dangerous this blows up pretty fast all right so let's start do it we have integral raw we have integral and we have ki good so Let's go and start calculating integral raw. Integral raw is equal to integral raw plus error. Alrighty. And then integral equals to ki multiply integral raw. And that's it. Yeah, there's really just nothing to it. Uh, I mean, there are more methods of, of control. Basically, this is how you calculate integral. But how does this make sense? Uh, because I, I just told you, I just mentioned that integral is an accumulative uh, value. So what, basically what you do every time is that if you see an error in each loop, for instance, this time the error is uh, 10, you add 10 to the integral raw and uh, w which makes the integral 10 
um, and then uh, in the next loop you see that the value is five. So uh, so you add another five to it, and then maybe the next error three, you add another three to it. You just keep adding it up, which means that this is essentially you can call this you can call the integral or the integral raw value. They are both um, they both grow exponentially with respect to time, and um, if your error is actually, um, I mean, increasing or decreasing, the uh, integral will adjust itself smartly. So basically, that's what it does. And um, this is basically it. And uh, well, I see a lot of people of uh, they actually, uh, I mean, they just use an integral value and they actually m put this constantly right here in this calculation. And they essentially, every time when you do that, you, you are kind of scaling down the values every time so that it doesn't actually blow up that fast and uh, I have uh, been using this method for very long so this is just a clean uh, neat calculation of integral integral raw plus error integral raw plus error you add it up every time so the value accumulates with respect to time so the longer you wait the more power the robot gets to get to the target so that is how you s uh, so so that's just a very clean uh, a neat formula, standard formula for calculating everything, and then the reason I create another formal integral variable to actually formally scale it up is that I, f I just feel like I need another constant to scale up this final value. Yeah, so that's what I'm uh, talking about, and uh, this is basically how you set up the most basics of integral. However, remember right now, the integral, th this algorithm, this controller is not ready to. Um, be uh, put into test even though I go ahead and add integral and to add integral here to see the final power and then you send the sum of the two to the um, move base command even though we've set up these two commands and even though right now we are correctly calculating the uh, integral it the controller is still not ready at this point because we still need to place more control on the final integral to make sure it doesn't go out of control and uh, this episode I just want to give you some basic intuitions about integral it is something that accumulates um, as time goes and uh, it is basically used for precise adjustment usually the proportion is used for to get the robot around the target while the integral is for precise adjustments, for precisely getting that robot to that point when the proportion cannot do it, when the error is too small and the proportion is too small and the robot just doesn't move and the error still stays like a tiny bit of error and just can't get it with proportion. That's where integral comes to play. Alrighty, so um, I guess this is it. In the next episode, we will start introducing the three methods that is very common in Vex Robotics uh, programming to control the integral value to make sure that we make it behave as we wish. So this is Martin of Vex Forever and uh, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I've seen that uh, a lot of people started to, subs uh, to subscribe to my channel and this is the best support you can possibly give me. I do appreciate that and uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. And uh, or even though you, you, do, you I mean you just don't like this general idea, you can see my programming and you see. I mean basically this theory is I think it might be helpful if you're starting with robot uh, robot programming. It is it, it might be. Anyway, I hope it's uh, hopeful and um, I will see you in the next video. All right.